it's price and uh, because uh, you see if uh, yeah it's perfect how do i do it they're not online that's um. yes <laughs> but uh, okay it's better this way not about you know i usually post it i share the video then some people will watch it later even if they're not online um good evening all the glory to god for making today a reality praise god someone is online praise god you're welcome in the name of jesus um before we continue, we have to praise God. Our Father in heaven, we glorify your name. We bow down before you. Our Father in heaven, we glorify your name. We bow down before you. Asheolua. Eshe baba o, eshe ulua awadupe baba. Eshe ulua, eshe baba o, eshe ulua awadupe baba. That's wonderful name. Jesus, that's wonderful name. Jesus, that's wonderful name. Jesus, there is no other name like Him. Gracious Father, we appreciate you for making today reality. Set our praises and thanks in Jesus' name. <coughs> Thank you, Lord, for doing wonders and bringing us for this program. Father, this is the first of its kind. We are very grateful, Lord. Lord. Be glorified in the name of Jesus, Father. We want to pray. Lord, we want you to come down and manifest your power in our lives. In the name of Jesus, Father, we want to come down and perform miracles, perform deliverance, perform healing, perform breakthrough in the name of Jesus. At the end of today's program, I want to give all the glory to your name. In Jesus' name, I have prayed to you. Before we continue, oh, okay, we want to continue. But firstly, I want to tell us that everybody has a great destiny. The topic is prayers for single ladies with great destinies. So, I don't want you to look down on yourself like you. maybe I'm not, I'm, not, um, I'm not for this prayer. No, you're not. There's nobody that is exempted, whether you're a male or you're a female, even if you're already married, this prayer is for you. So we are going to be praying because we we want the power of God to move in our lives and we want God to secure the right for marriage for us. I can't see you. Alright, take care. According to his will and not just for show off, a lot of marriages today are just for show off, they're just for, oh, are you married? Yes, I'm married, I'm no longer single, I'm taken, all this kind of thing, but it's more than that. It's more than that. God desire marriage for companionship, for partnership. And when you as a lady you have a vision or a destiny to fulfill, you can't just pick anybody. 
for men, sometimes it's easier for them because it's easier for them to pull a woman to do what they want. But for a woman, it's not easy for you to pull a man to do what you want. So, that is why you need to specifically pray and wait on the Lord to choose the right partner for you. It is possible. People think it is not possible. People think, oh, you just pick someone and start working it out. Some people even think, oh, you're going to just do what your husband is doing. Most times it's not like that. You need to be prepared for what your husband wants to do. That is the reason why you, you yourself, you need to know what God wants you to do. And by the time God matches the two of you together, there is no need for you to start, oh, I should have learned this, I should have done this, or maybe you just be in the relationship, just looking, not doing anything. That is not the will of God for us. A single lady that have this destiny, maybe God wants you to become a CEO of a great company, a minister, a singer, whatever way, preacher. You can't marry just anybody. You can't marry just anybody it will not work it's going to be difficult because men you know they are one way they don't know how to think several ways like women so he already knows where he's going and you you now want to change him it will be very difficult it will be very difficult and that's the reason for our prayers today so, after saying all that, we want to go into these prayers. And I pray that God will join us in Jesus. First, we want to start by praising that God has spared our life and has made it possible for us to come online today to witness this prayer for keeping us alive for everything God has been doing for us. Let's go and praise Him. Our gracious Father. Faithful God, that is your name. All creation adore you, Lord, forevermore. You are the same. Faithful God, I praise you. Hallelujah. Ha, oh Lord, I thank you. Oluwa, wa, oluwa, 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 Show, 
Let's pray. Almighty Father, we pray for your spirit. Ah, So that is one prayer we want to pray. Father, Lord, don't let me make maritime mistakes. Let's pray. Oh Lord, oh Lord, shall we? Oh, my dear, shall she say, be a wish I knew. My dear, she knew. Oh Lord, your majesty. Oh Lord, your majesty. Come here, your majesty. Oh Lord, your Lord. I know it is difficult. It is difficult, oh Lord. It is difficult. I can only really not say that it is by my power. It is difficult. Father, Lord, you are the one that can show someone who is right and everything about that person is saying no, 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 no. And yet, I don't want to make a mistake. And yet, we don't want to make a mistake, oh Lord. Ah, oh Lord, you might worry about some other times. Someone would have even chosen, oh, this is the right person who will come for me. The only person who does come from me, I want to attack that person away from me. What are you going to do? Are you going to continue waiting for the person? Or are you going to say God has not spoken? What are you going to do? Ah, Father, but have mercy. Please don't let me make my right mistakes. Please have mercy on me. The mercy of the person you have chosen from you, don't let me miss you no more. Father, no, the other person that is praying this prayer, Father, don't let us miss this our actual partner. Father, Lord, please help us. What we are going to do that help us to miss it. Father, don't let us do it. Have mercy, Lord. Father, Lord, help us. Help us, oh Lord, take control. Father, teach us your way. Teach me that way, oh Lord. Teach me that way. Ah, Father, take me that way, oh Lord. Teach me that way, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our next prayer is going to go to our foundation. There are some foundational battles in our lineages. 
as uh, women just check your family like what is the what is the norms something that is kind of common to marriages of women in the in the home do they have peaceful marriages do their husband love them can they relate to their husband maybe some after a while the man will just leave the woman alone and go and meet some other woman maybe that is the line this evening we want to cancel it for me i already know what is yeah, the one in my family i have to pray oh lord go to my foundation go and purge my foundation father go and purge my foundation the battle in my foundation don't let it work over me don't let it work in my life in the name of jesus ah papa here i shall know me Ogun <laughs> Olorun <laughs> In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Then another thing we want to pray about. I believe if we have faith, these prayers are going to work. It might not be long. As short as it is, as short as we are praying, let's just believe that God is hearing us. I will call him our fears. It's no advice. It's just for us to pray with our whole heart and to believe that God will answer the prayers. So the next prayer on the agenda now is: Do you know that there is um? I don't want to say that it's generalized. Um, it is particular to some kind of areas, I mean some kind of people, some set of people. I want to say that it's like a general thing for all women that maybe there are some marriages that are not like that, I don't know. But when God pleased call some women, pleased call some um, you will That during childbirth is going to be difficult. The next, our next prayer is, Oh Lord, please, over my head, remove the cause that you placed on women. We have to pray it. If we pray that, Oh God, remove the cause on my family lineage, that human being has placed on the, on the family. But I remove it. Now we want to pray that, God, in your mercy, remove the cause you place on women, remove it from my head. Don't let it work for me. When I walk in my head, maybe during childbirth or anything. Then the second one I said, your love shall be to your husband. That one is not really a cause, but that time God was laying a cause. Like, you will always be your head. It's not a problem if it's your head, but what kind of head is it? What kind of head is it? Is it just head of, head of, uh, or head of cock or head of fish a different kind of head with this your body as big as this is so you should not go and place head of cock on your head now so we have to pray Father, the cause of place of woman that man will always be the head oh lord have mercy on me remove cause from my head I know some men will not like my prayer, but please let us pray. It is a single female. We are praying for female. Because you man, you could be my really. 
Tool Jaculi Gap. Don't know that is the cause. Some women they can't they can't make ends meet without collecting money from their husband. That's cost now. You have to pray it. How will you feel? How will you feel as a man? You want to do something. Your wife brings money. She doesn't need to wait for you before she cooks. Is that not to your own advantage? Or maybe you even need money for your company or anything. She gives it to you. Nobody is competing with anybody. It's not. Comp she's not competing with you. You are not competing with her. But that's cause. Let's pray that it should be removed. Let's pray. Because that a woman should not be able to make something out of her life unless she wait on the man for something. Father, remove it from my head. The cause that is working on women's life that they can't do anything. Most women they can't do anything. Even to cook food for their husband, they can't do it. Except the man brings money. Let's lay our hands on our head now. And say God should remove this cost in my head. And the cause that has placed on women in my generation, or maybe anybody born in my family, Father Lord, remove from my head. Let's pray. Ah, Baba, you are you, you will go to office, you will be me. Ah, don't you pray? We shall do my mama, we go to Liga. Ah, we are going to go to Lorimi. Ah, we are going to go to Lorimi. Jesus Christ. Sometimes you will pray, you will actually pray. I go and say, So, 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 is your husband. Then trouble will start. <laughs> now you want to pray. Oh God, for as many no distractions, there will be a lot of distractions trying to distract you. Now start wondering, Oh God, I thought you spoke. Oh God, I thought you have spoken. Look at distraction. And God will not tell you I have not spoken again. Tell you I have spoken. So many distractions. A lot of women. Maybe God has chosen Brahe for them. That's when Brah B, Brah C, Brah Elijah, Brah, all these will start coming. They now be like, ah, oh God, what am I going to do? Oh, and I like Brah Elijah. Brah Elijah can speak English well. Oh, Brah A can sing well. You start contemplating. Well, that is just one that is the will of God for you. The others are distractions. You see, recently God started talking to me about marriage and he said, marriage is companionship. The prized person God has for you. Nothing, there will be nothing that will. Could you see the couple to my only like, ah, oh, this place, it will make this place, ah, if we match in every other place, but this one thing we don't match. No. There will not be anything like that. You will match in every way. Every way. 
How will you know that kind of person? Even some people now, they say that it is sexual intercourse that is a problem for them in their mind because they don't match. Their hodges don't match. And God said, don't try it before marriage. So how will you know someone that your hodges match together? It's by praying. So that is, that is what I'm trying to say. So when God chooses for you, there's no need to start worrying again, but there will be distraction. These are problems from the foundation. Problems from my foundation cause distraction to my marriage. Not to let them die by fire today. In the name of Jesus, let's pray. Ah, but no, 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 no. Every problem from my foundation that says my marriage will go like the marriage of my forefathers and my foremother and, and the people that are that are in family, to 